In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who desired the Virgin Blessed Kateri Tekakwitha to flower among Native Americans in a life of innocence, grant through her intercession that when all are gathered into your church from every nation, tribe, and tongue, they may magnify you in a single canticle of praise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the days of Asa, king of Judah, son of Jotham, son of Uzziah, Rezin, king of Aram, and Pekah, king of Israel, son of Ramliha, went up to attack Jerusalem. But they were not able to conquer it. When word came to the house of David that Aram was encamped in Ephraim, the heart of the king and the heart of the people trembled, as the trees of the forest tremble in the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Azza, and take you and your son Shir Jashub at the end of the kodot of the upper pool, on the highway of the fuller's field, and say to him, Take care you remain tranquil, and do not fear. Let your courage not fail. Before these two stumps of smoldering brands and blazing anger of Rezin and the Arameans and the sons of Ramliha, because of the mischief that Aram, Ephraim, and the sons of Ramliha plot against you, saying, Let us go up and tear Judah asunder, make it our own by force, and appoint the son of Tabiah king there. Thus says the Lord, This shall not stand, it shall not be. Damascus is the capital of Aram, and Rezin is the head of Damascus. Samira is the capital of Ephraim, and Remliha's sons the head of Samaria. But within sixty years and five, Ephraim shall be crushed. No longer a nation, unless your faith is firm. You shall not be firm. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God upholds his city forever. God upholds his city forever. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. In his holy mountain, fairest of heights, and is the joy of all the earth. God upholds his city forever. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with it, her castles, and renowned as he, is he as a stronghold. God upholds his city forever. For lo, the kings assemble, they come on together, they also see, and at once are stunned, terrified, routed. God upholds his city forever. Quaking seizes them, anguish like a woman's in labor, as through a wind from the east, or shattering ships of Tarshi. God upholds his city forever. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of the mighty deeds have been done since they had not repented. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. As for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted in heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. 
For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We're called to repentance. And we got that call uh, back in November when we heard from um, the Blessed Mother through uh, Sister Agnes Sisagawa, who had not uh, had a uh, vision of the Blessed Mother um, since 1973. Interesting, 1973, right? The warning came at that time, in the very year that uh, our nation became a culture of death with the decision with Roe v. Wade. Again, the, the call for repentance uh, this most recent one, uh, apparently on October 6th it came, but it, it didn't uh, manage to get out into the public until about a month later, um, called for us to pray a repentant rosary and to put on ashes. So a call for repentance. What does repentance ultimately mean? It means that we have play, been playing God for too long. and God's had it. It's time for us to humble ourselves. That's what putting on ashes is all about. We do that, don't we, on Ash Wednesday, right? As we're heading into Lent, we put on ashes to remind ourselves, listen, we are dust, and to dust we shall return. God created us out of nothing, and, and, and we'll return to dust, okay? This body, this shell of ours, will return to, will turn to dust, uh, and, and will remain so... Uh, unless we repent. Uh, we, uh, we have that alternative, right? Eternal uh, glory and the beatific vision with God. Uh, you know, I've been thinking a lot about heaven lately. You, know, I, you hear stories of uh, how there's gardens up there. And I've been saying, well, flowers don't have souls, so maybe our pets can join us too in heaven. So lady's been suffering lately, and I'm been wondering about her, uh, her, her days. But uh, I digress, um, but we, we have to keep that thought in mind. You know, recently I said, listen, I might get hit by a car today, and I'll stand before, before the judgment seat of God. Okay? And so uh, we need to have this spirit of repentance every moment of every day of our lives. You know, that... that uh, that when I chose this vice or this sin or whatever it was over you, okay, I was in essence calling myself my own God because I know you know that's wrong. And in spite of that, I chose it anyway. I need to repent. I am not my own God. You are my God, okay? And so uh, m maybe more than any time uh, before, we need to repent. Interesting about October 6th, I can't be certain about this, but I did some research and found that very likely this virus that we're dealing with right now uh, emerged from the laboratory in Wuhan, China on October 6th. Well, how do we know this? Because uh, they had emptied out uh, the, the, um, the uh, facility on October 7th, okay? So it first uh, infected someone, or at least they came to their attention, on October 6th. Interesting, the very day uh, Sister Agnes Sesagawa was reported to have the vision of Mary, okay? So lots to consider here, okay? And a lots for us to understand that uh, the time is now for us to repent. Please stand. Trusting in your Lord's promises, we now offer our petitions to him that through the intercession of St. Kateri Tekahuitha, all members of the church may continue to grow in love and fidelity to Christ. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that all nations and peoples living with the effects of war may soon experience peace and reconciliation we pray to the Lord that everyone of faith through our witnessing uh, 
of the mighty deeds of God may rejoice, may receive the grace we need to uh, place our trust in you, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Uh, that those who have, been, who have gone before us in faith may live forever in God's presence. And today's Mass is being offered for... <clears throat> Nathaniel Berry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, when two or more gather in your name, you have promised to be there. Hear and answer the prayers we offer you today. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the Church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, we, uh, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and Forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and all those who hold you to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise. Are they offered for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to the eternal God, living and true, in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogenus, John and Paul, Cosmos, and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation 
and count it among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel, to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, in all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who with those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever.
The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed those called and suffer the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion, 
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <laughs>